Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am sitting down today to plan out my week in the Erin Condren A5 Daily Duo and I wanted to chat with you about this bottom box area. So, it'll be a little bit of planner chat and why I made the changes that I did and the ways you can use this section in the plan. So I have been using an Erin Condren hourly or vertical layout for several years and my sidebar has always been really important um, for tracking certain things throughout the week. And when I moved to the Daily Duo, um, I still wanted to track those things but didn't know necessarily how to do that. So um, as I've been in this planner now for a week, maybe two weeks, um, things are just kind of starting to formulate in my mind and really work for me. So I decided I would track those things um, that I used to track in my week view on this bottom box section. And what I've done is I've assigned each day of the week something different. Um, so like Monday is going to be the Coco Daisy Challenge. Tuesday I'll be listing out the Planner Kate Challenge. Wednesday are going to be some trackers for my son. And I know some people, for them, that might not necessarily work because once the day is done, they don't necessarily flip back to those pages. However, for me, I am constantly referencing um, my schedule and if I need any follow-ups and my to-do sections um, on previous days. So like even on Saturday, I might look back at Monday to make sure I don't need to follow up with any people um, from my appointments or if I didn't get any to-do items done. So I think that tracking weekly habits down here for me is going to work. So let's go ahead and get started um, with Monday, which for me is going to be the Coco Daisy Challenge. So that is basically like a planner or memory keeping challenge per day. And since I'm using Mini Kit 403 this month or this week from Planner Kate, I, this is the sidebar add-on. I'm going to use this sticker right here to track that for the week. And just to break up this section a little bit, I'm going to be using the washi from the Moxie Life A5 kit and putting that down at the bottom as well. Okay, so that will take me through the whole week for my Coco Daisy challenge. And then on the back for Tuesday, the next page here, I'm going to use this for the Planner Kate challenge. And since I already used my tracker from this add-on, I'm going to just pull from my stash here, this is my favorites binder, and pull one that works with this kit. Um, she makes them with several different color choices. I think I'm just going to go with this one, um, S1733, that's just the black and white doodle um, neutral theme here. Um, just as a side note, um, I feel like it's easier to write on the stickers than it is sometimes against the coil. So usually I write on my sticker sheets before I put them in the planner.
And then moving on to Wednesday, I'm gonna use this one, um, this bottom box for my son's trackers. Um, so I'll put this coordinating header washi on here again. Um, just as a note, the headers that I'm using this week are actually the Moxie Life headers and they don't fill the entire space at the top, which I've actually been liking because I like a little white space. If you're familiar with Planner Kate, um, the headers made for this planner um, take up the whole space up there, but I kind of like having some extra white space, so I've been using I'm those. I'm gonna go ahead and use this add-on again and use this tracker down here. So we need to be practicing his Taekwondo form. As well as his church verse of the week. And we don't have anything else for my son for those other two spaces. So what I think I'm going to do is center this here and then trim off the bottom two that I won't need. And then I'll actually write in his verse right here that he's supposed to be working on. Four. Um, let's see, that was Wednesday. So Thursdays, I'm going to be using the bottom box for meals. And I have not done my meal planning for the week yet. Um, but again, I will use this coordinating washi. another one of these from S1733 and since I don't have them planned out I can't write on my sticker before I put it down but that's okay that'll be ready when I need it and then um, Friday is my scripture plan and um, I talk about this in my Bible journaling video but I'm reading through the book the books the books of the Bible chronologically as they were written um, throughout the year, and so I need to go ahead and put week two reading plan down here. And then I'm gonna just, because I wanna be extra and they're super cute, I'm gonna look at this add-on. It's new for the 2022 Planner Cake Kits. It has all the doodles in the colors that match the kit. Um, I think that I can use some of them. Um, like this coffee cup for my goals would be cute. And 
some little um, bed icons for the wash the sheets laundry. And then my reading plan, I can use, let's do the books with the glasses. I know there's a church, but I'll use that probably for my sons. Um, Thursday is meals. Probably do the crock pot. And then for my son, I can do this little paw print. And planner Kate challenge. Let's do this little light bulb. And then for Monday on the Coco Daisy Challenge. Oh, let's use this little heart bubble. So on Sunday, every single week, I do what I call a weekly reset, which is basically just cleaning or doing my Walmart grocery pickup, just little things like that um, that helps me be ready for the upcoming week. So I'm going to go ahead and list those tasks on another ombre okay. ball. So I am set for the week now. I hope that that gave you some ideas on how you can use the bottom bar in your Erin Condren Daily Duo. So just as a recap, we have planner challenges on Monday and Tuesday, um, my kids trackers on Wednesday, meals on Thursday, my reading plan on Friday. Um, Saturdays will be a gold check day and then Sunday is my weekly reset. So thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions, I will try to get back to you if you drop a question in the comments below. Happy planning!